Hey Ross and everyone else at Sphero. So as you can see I got my Sphero right here and I wanted to show you a little update on the flashlight app I'm, I'm working on. So this screen you see before or you saw before in the web player demo so you can turn it on, uh, on and off and change the color of the Sphero, change the brightness here and also have a stroke effect Just like this and you can change the speed of it so this is the screen you saw previously and I wanted to show you uh, the new screen I'm working on which is the pattern screen. In the pattern screen you can select uh, different color patterns which this view plays. So right now this is the default pattern here, it's kind of a fiery pattern and you can modify everything about this with all the, the options up here. So you can see the, the pattern is playing but you can also uh, change change every color of the pattern so you can define your, uh, your own patterns here and there are some different playback options so you can define how many colors you want in your pattern you can define if it's looping if it's playing once and then going going to black afterwards or if it's shuffling the colors you can define if the transition between the colors is smooth or instant and then I also have some predefined patterns here. So you saw the fire pattern. Um, I have a rainbow shot here, so it's just um, oh wait, like this. So going through the colors of the rainbow. We have the disco, which uh, displays uh, the randomness and also the the instant change. So if we if we want to have the, the smooth color fade, it looks more like this. Uh, but yeah, for the disco, we go for the instant. And you can change the speed of the pattern down here as well and step through it yeah like police car and also some very soothing smooth meditative colors and very slow color color change right here so yeah so this screen um i, I was working on this screen before i'm very happy with it and the last screen that's that's left to do is the special screen which I'll we'll have to experiment with the Sphero a little bit. It depends um, how the how the input parameters work. What I'm planning right now, but I'm not sure if it if it works properly, is that I use the different um, the different values I get from the Sphero, like ex, um, from the accelerometer or um, the rotation speed and stuff like that. And I use that to change the color. So that's that what what's I have, uh, what I have. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I've planned for this this last screen. So I hope you like the progress so far and I see you in the next update.